I always feel so much anxiety when I haven't filmed in a minute. It's like the feeling you get when you make plans with a friend that you haven't hung out with in a really long time and it's just like, you know that you like really enjoy each other, but it just takes, you know, a few minutes to kind of ease back into the relationship. <sighs> That's how I feel whenever it's been a while since I've turned the camera on. Anyway, how are you guys? A lot of crazy shit has went down since the last time we hung out. I hope everyone is safe. Um, trying to think optimistically here because there's so much negativity out there already. I don't really want to put any more fear into people. Um, is everyone enjoying this little like, almost like a, a vacation that allows a lot of me time? <laughs> I made a joke, I'm like, suddenly everyone's copying my lifestyle, you know, staying in all day, not really doing much, you know, welcome to my life. How dare you come for my brand like that? Anyway, so today's video, I thought, why not do like a bit of a throwback and do kind of like a favorite style video because I can't remember the last time I did one of these, probably two years ago. And I'm, a kind of, I'm the kind of person that, I am very obsessive over my belongings and I like do tons of research before I buy things. I test out, I test out all the different things because I want to make sure that the thing that I get is the best possible thing. You know, they always say that there's two types of people. The people that when they go to a restaurant, they look at the menu and they see something that they think sounds good. They stop scanning and they say, I'm going to get the spaghetti and meatballs. Then you have the second type of person that stops at spaghetti and meatballs and says, spaghetti and meatballs, I think I'll get that. But then still has to read every single menu item to make sure that the spaghetti and meatballs is the final choice. I'm the second person. <laughs> and I'm like that with my belongings. So, you know, I'll find a leopard skirt but then I'll say, is this the best leopard skirt I can get? Is there one in a better fit, a better material, a better price point? <laughs> so because I'm so obsessive like that, I thought, you know, I should really share my findings with you guys. So that's what we're doing here today. So my first favorite is an app that I've been using for quite some time now called Skillshare. But my love for it has recently skyrocketed because I've started utilizing it in a new way, which I'll talk about in a minute. But Skillshare is an app where you can watch tons and tons and tons of videos, like literally endless videos. I have, I want to say 50 plus classes saved into my Skillshare account. Um, but you can watch tons of videos by people who are essentially experts at their craft. Basically, they're sharing their skills with you. So lately, I've built a habit that's really working for me, which is this. I watch a Skillshare class while I'm at the gym. And I find this to be really effective because it's very engaging. It's a really great distraction that completely takes my mind off the fact that I'm working out. And I mean, improving my body and improving my mind at the same time, that's productivity at its very finest. And speaking of productivity, the class that I'm currently watching is called Simple Productivity, How to Accomplish More with Less, which we all know, I need to watch because my productivity skills are um, very bad. <laughs> but also, um, I wanna show you guys some of the other classes I have saved because they're very fascinating. I have art classes, I have business classes, I have writing classes. I even have a class on how to give a great foot massage. So if you guys would like to try out Skillshare, the first 500 people who sign up using the link in my video description will get two months of Skillshare Premium for free and after that, it's only around $10 a month. The second thing that I feel I must talk about is something that I've already mentioned on my channel a few times now, you guys. This is the Amore Pacific Vintage Single Extract Essence. And it's basically just a, think of it as a very, very thin, absorbable moisturizer. That's what an essence is. It's, it's loaded with nutrients. It's fermented, which means that, you know, the particles of molecules are broken down into really small pieces because the bacteria have gotten in there and like nibbled at it. They've broken it down. So your skin drinks it up better than it does normal non-fermented skincare products. The worst thing about this is the price. It's very expensive. It's like $150 a bottle after tax. 
and yet I keep finding ways to replenish my stash. <laughs> um, I'm more specific, if you're watching, listen, if you want to send me a box of this, I will totally accept it. <laughs> Wish it could be cheaper, but you know what? Also, I read that it takes over 100 days to make one bottle of this, and that's why it's so expensive. Like I watched a video, uh, the green tea is fermenting for 100 days in these little like clay pots on an island in Korea. And I love this because I have really, 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 really sensitive skin. I'm actually still on my kick of not wearing any foundation. I have no foundation on right now, which is why, you know, you can see probably all of my little pimples. Honestly, sitting down and doing this video today is taking a lot of confidence because I have like five pimples that are ready to be popped like literally have pus just at the top of them and i'm sitting here on camera and i'm just acting like i'm okay with it but on the inside i'm like truly insecure and freaking out but here's the thing i recently made a promise to myself that i'm going to quit picking at my skin 100 percent i'm gonna learn to not be at war with my skin issues because they're not going anywhere. I've had skin issues for the past 15 years of my life and I think it's time to stop being at war with something about myself. You know, I just, I'm, I'm exhausted. I, I don't, I've spent so much mental energy worrying about my complexion because I've just had so many issues with my skin and I'm, I'm reaching a point where I'm like, you know what? I'm fine with it. I mean, I'm not, but I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm fine with it. I have to start like reprogramming my brain and like how I think about myself because I'm exhausted and I just like, I just, I can't do it anymore. So yeah, I have a lot of pimples that like traditionally I would have popped this morning, but I'm no longer doing that. I'm no longer doing that. So anyway, I love this because it doesn't break me out. This is actually not what caused these breakouts. What caused these breakouts was over exfoliating. I over exfoliated because I had a lot of stuff that I wanted to shed, but now my skin is so sensitive that it's breaking out because it's barriers gone, which is another reason why I love this because it helps keep everything moist. Another thing I was obsessed with recently, this candle from Bath and Body Works called Rose Water and Ivy. Oh, you guys, wow. Mmm. It's so good. Rose is without a doubt my favorite candle scent of all time. And I've had many, many different rose candles. I, I also really like the one from Diptyque, but it's also very, very, very expensive and very small. So I have it in my bathroom on top of my toilet and I think I light it twice a year. <laughs> and I smell it every time I sit on the toilet. I don't have to light it to smell it. It's there, right? Anyway, um, but this one from Bath and Body Works, which is quite, affordable in comparison. It smells so good. It's it's obviously smells like roses. But there's like this like kick. There's like this like sharpness to it that I just love. I love. And this one I actually bought um last year. So they don't have this packaging anymore, which this packaging is gorgeous. I wish they did. I really love it. And with the the brass lid, yes. So pretty. But they do still have this scent. Next, we have a makeup product. This is from Tom Ford, and it is their Shade and Illuminate Cream Contour Palette. Now, I never used to contour. Like, I would use bronzer, but I didn't contour like my nose and my jawline and my forehead and all of that um, until last year. I tried quite a few different products. This is, in my opinion, the very best thing you could possibly use to contour your nose. I know this color. <laughs> In contrast to my skin, it looks uh, terrifyingly dark, but this is actually the lightest color that you can get. And it does blend out really nice. I'm going to show you guys though, just so you can see it. Like, it is so dark. And you look at that and you think, oh my god, how in the fuck? But it does blend out and it does look really good. And I've been loving it. I will say, I don't really use this top bit. This is good if you want to like make the top of your cheekbones look like a little wet and glossy. I know this would break me out, so I haven't even tried it. <laughs> Whereas this one, I just put the smallest bit just on like the sides of my nose and like on top of my forehead and like maybe a little bit on my jawline and maybe a little bit here and maybe a little bit. <laughs> yeah, but. <laughs> 
Okay, now I have some favorite books. I actually read these last year, but since it's been such a long time since I filmed a favorites video, I feel I just really want to mention these because I think these books have the power to really help people. So you guys know last year I was very, very, very fucking depressed. Like, I really just didn't want to be alive, truly. I just did not want to be alive. And I reached a point where I kind of started feeling sick of thinking that. This is hard to put into words, honestly. Uh, I reached a point where telling myself that I didn't want to be alive didn't really have power anymore because I'd been saying it for months. I started getting a little bit more energy and with that energy, I wanted to understand why my energy had been taken from me, why all of my motivation was gone, why I just wanted to give up on life completely. And I read probably about six or seven books about neuroscience, depression, psychology, you know, all of these different angles, all these different approaches, all these different perspectives of the course of depression. My two favorite books are Habits of a Happy Brain Ta -da! and The Upward Spiral. Habits of a Happy Brain is interesting because it's written in the framework of how to retrain your brain to boost serotonin, dopamine, oxytocin, and endorphin levels, which essentially is like the cocktail of what makes one feel good. <laughs> so basically, I mean, if you learn how to trigger the release of these neurotransmitters, you can increase your natural high in the same way that, you know how like when you like, when you're fall, when, like when you fall in love or like when something exciting happens, like you just feel really good. You feel really good because your neurotransmitters are like <laughs> So you can learn how to manipulate that in various ways, maybe not to that degree, but you can learn how to make yourself feel that way on a lower level every day by doing specific things and just kind of understanding how to manipulate your own system basically that's what this book is it's really interesting the upward spiral is exactly what it sounds like it's uh it says here using neuroscience to reverse the course of depression one small change at a time i really enjoyed how this book was written it was a very very quick read it was easy to read it was fun to read just if you're in a dark place right now my best solution to you would be try to understand your brain. Instead of being at war with it and being upset with it and feeling like your existence is meaningless, try to understand yourself because knowledge is power and I feel like once you can get a better understanding of what's going on behind the curtain, you just start to feel more at peace with yourself. I don't know if any of that made sense, but there it is. <laughs> So I would have to say my biggest beauty favorite lately has been my microbladed eyebrows. I went and I got my eyebrows microbladed by my absolute favorite microblading artist, Lena Hang. She is in downtown LA if you're local. Um, she's the only person who I've ever let touch my eyebrows and I just would trust her with my life and with your life. So if you wanna go, tell her I sent you. Um, anyway, I got them done and I feel just so good. I still like will fill in a little bit because I have a non-existent brow here. So I, I have a little bit of powder on them today, but I think you can tell the difference of how much like bolder and darker they are than the last time I saw you guys. I was originally going to vlog my microblading experience and I did film some clips of it, but that day kind of took a weird dark turn and I just all of a sudden didn't really feel like filming. So um, I will share with you guys the clips that I have from that right now. Okay, so it's all traced out. Obviously it's not gonna be this bold or this intense, but this is like the outer perimeter of where she will be microblading. So now it's time to get all numbed up because I am a huge pussy when it comes to pain. And I have really sensitive thin skin, so I feel like microblading hurts me more than the average person, but I do my best to just get through it. I have on my beautiful numbing cream and saran wrap, which helps kind of like, I don't know, lock it in, I guess. 
I'm nervous, you guys. Like, it doesn't hurt. I maybe shed a few tears, um, but I don't know. The numbing cream helps for like maybe three minutes, and then you just start feeling. Ch 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 ch. But it's worth it. In the end, it's worth it. Beauty is pain. We know this. It's whatever. Look at the beauty of those fine strokes. Are you guys seeing the artistry? Like, I'm shook. I'm shook. So good. I literally love my eyebrows so much. Thank you, Lena, for being truly the best. Truly the best. I was telling her, you know, I look at on Yelp because I did think about trying to find a new artist out here in OC because I live in OC now and LA is like an hour and a half drive. I'm looking through everyone's photos and I'm like, none of these look good like like hardly none of these like i would not let these people touch my eyebrows and then you go to look at lena's pictures and i'm like yes 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 like so good like literally the best in her in her craft like just the best so again if you go see her tell her kalel sent you um say good things about me tell her how much you love me and yeah Next thing I've really been loving, you guys know I'm on a damn health kick. I'm trying to kick my cravings. I threw everything junk food related out of my house, into a trash bag, down the trash chute, done. Obviously, anytime I go to Target, I still buy a candy bar and I binge eat it in my car because I'm sick. But this place, no junk food zone, okay? No junk food zone. I have to talk about RX bars, okay? This is the only flavor I like. I just want to get that out first. I tried all of them. Some of them are okay. Some of them are horrid. The texture is like hard and difficult to chew and like ugh, horrid. Um, but this banana chocolate walnut flavor, trust me, okay? Trust me, go get it. If you like banana things, if you like banana bread, you'll love this. This is guilt-free. It tastes amazing. Honestly, I'm having a really hard time not ripping it open. <laughs> um, I love these because I feel like I'm eating a candy bar, but there's nothing bad in it. It has 12 grams of protein. It's tasty. It's guilt-free. Love it. Next, we have a fashion item that I showed earlier. This is a really beautiful leopard print midi skirt. It actually goes kind of beyond midi. It goes like mid calf, which makes me feel a little bit like a school teacher or something because I'm not one to usually wear such modest clothing. Um, but I saw this one day and I thought, you know what? Why am I not wearing skirts like these? This is like going out in PJs. Like this is so comfortable and breezy and thin and soft and i'm just like you know what i'm gonna jump on this trend and i decided to get leopard print because i stopped and i was like have i ever owned anything anything in leopard i don't think i have and i have two cats that are like little mini leopards and so you would think i would be all about leopard print but i don't know i wore this the other day and i also i've been wearing my hair this is my natural hair like zero things done to it because i'm just kind of same attitude as with my skin. I'm like done. I'm in a phase. Okay, let's, let's I don't want to make any definite statements because I always I always change my mind, but I'm in a phase where I'm just really embracing my my natural state, you know? I don't really want to put a lot of makeup on. I don't want to do my hair. Just like whatever, my natural hair texture. Don't care. So I wore this with like a black um tank top, and I felt like a little bit like Tarzan. <laughs> Like my hair was like, my hair's actually kind of calm today, but like when it's like in full force, you know, it's like a little big and frizzy and I just felt like Tarzan with my hair and, and <laughs> from like wild thornberries. <laughs> like, I don't know, I, just, I felt a little eh, but um, it's really, really cute. Sorry, I haven't even talked about where it's from. It's from Aritzia and i can't remember the price but i've worn it like literally five times which is a lot for me because uh i really don't wear fashion clothes i pretty much wear sweats and tank tops and hoodies like all day every day or yoga pants um i really don't wear street fashion uh, street fashion what do, what do i say day wear day wear i don't really wear day wear ever so five times for me is a lot i really i really like this Next, we have a perfume. This is Viva the Juicy Gold Couture. 
Viva the Juicy Perfume, Can You Even? This is a serious throwback to, literally what this reminds me of is the year I started making YouTube videos. So 2009. Ah, this actually smells just like normal Viva the Juicy, but I wanna say a tad, and I mean a tad more sophisticated. Just a little bit nicer. Like not as in your face sugar fruity. I mean, it's still very sugary, very fruity. But there's a hint of something more sophisticated in it. And the reason I'm choosing to put this in my favorites is because, let me tell you, I own, I love, 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 love fragrance, right? I own Tom Ford fragrances. I own, um, I don't know how to say it, burrito, 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 no, <laughs> Byretto, Byretto, burrito, 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 no idea. I've never heard it said aloud, but I own one of those fragrances. I own a lot of really nice designer fragrances. Lately, every morning when I go to put on perfume, I just keep reaching for this. And I don't ever really wear fragrance for other people. I wear it for myself, which is why I specifically will put it like close to my neck so I can smell it all day. Whereas if I'm like going on a date or something, which I haven't, but if I were to in the future, I always spray my chest and my clothes. Um, but I've just been reaching for this because I don't know if it's just like a, a memory feeling that makes me feel good. Like I feel like I'm 20 again. No. <laughs> I don't know. I just really love it. For music that I've been loving, I would be lying to you if I didn't say I've listened to the new BTS CD about 50 times. <laughs> um, I am ARMY. I know, I, 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 I feel like I try to hide it because I don't know. I don't know, I feel like, cause I feel like being a BTS fan is so, overdone at this point but then i'm like why am i why am i ashamed i shouldn't be ashamed you know so yeah uh i oh i didn't mean to start playing it um yeah map of soul 7 their new album if you haven't listened to it go stream it support um no i really like it my favorite song by far is uh 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 i guess that's how you say it uh they killed it. Like, rap line, they killed it. Sugar, you killed it. J-Hope, you killed it. RM, you killed it. Seriously, it's a really, 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 really good song. Um, I also like Shadow, which is Sugar's solo song. And I would say Zero O'Clock on are my other favorites. And Inner Child, and My Time, and Louder Than Bombs, and Black Swan, and Ego, and We Are Bulletproof the Eternal. Just all of it. Just really all of it. Um, side note, does any fellow ARMY understand the featuring Sia version of On? Because I don't hear any differences besides uh, more English and less Korean. I'm confused. Anyway, been listening to that a lot. Another favorite that is actually really old, but again, I have not made one of these videos in a really long time. These glasses. These are my favorite glasses. I really like the kind of like cat eye shape. Sorry, my face has so much product on it that everything is like slipping off, but. And these are from the brand, hold on. I really don't wanna, I don't wanna be the bitch that says designer's name's wrong. So give me a second. This is Julian, the Frenchman who makes French and Italian pronunciation videos. Yes, an Italian pronunciation video as we are looking at how to pronounce the name of this Italian luxury brand, super famous brand known for its jewelry, watches, fragrances, accessories, and many leather goods. Many luxury goods comes out of Bulgari. This company is headquartered Bulgari. In These are my favorite glasses. I've had them for a long time. I really love the shape. I love everything about them. They have this little cool feature too on the side with the logo. You can have them black or you can flip them over and have them be kind of like um, two different colors. There's red and there's white. And they're just beautiful, beautiful. Like I love a nice luxury frame. You know, there's not a lot of things that I will shell out big bucks for. Although I'm looking down here, I'm like, <laughs> <"Tom Ford." laughs> 
I, I like moderate luxury items. I'm not a high-end luxury item person. You know, I don't really have a lot of things that are over a hundred dollars in my life. Okay, but glasses, handbags, fragrance, that's about it. I'll go there for those things and I really love those glasses. Also, I really, really want to mention my Fitbit, you guys. Fitbit has changed my life. I love it. It was literally the best, like, what was it, like $200? The best $200 I have ever spent in my entire life, okay? It has made me, like, get off of my ass. Like, there's no other way to say it. It has truly made me get off of my ass. And also, I really like using the timer feature on it. So I can set a little timer like this, and it's like 15 minutes, right? And it just starts counting down like a bomb on my wrist, right? And I say, all right, 15 minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready in 15 minutes. I mean, that's why I look the way that I look today because I am learning from my Skillshare, my Skillshare class, right? What is essential and what's not so that I can progress my life and actually make something of myself. So instead of spending an hour getting ready for today's video, I set a timer on my watch, my Fitbit, for 15 minutes and all I was able to do was my brows and a little bit of mascara and eyeliner and that's it and my brush my hair put some oil in my hair and get dressed and that's that I love my Fitbit I would literally die without my Fitbit and I will never ever be without it last but not least we have something else that I have briefly mentioned on my channel before Hmm, this is a Staub um, cast iron Dutch oven. It's very heavy. <laughs> this is probably like 30 pounds. No, it's probably like 20, 20 something pounds. It's heavy. This is another thing that has changed my life, you guys. I actually originally bought this because I have very low, sorry, excuse me. I have very low iron levels. So my doctor told me to get iron cookware because when you cook in iron, the iron goes into the food and it helps with your iron levels apparently. So I got this and I'm just in love. I'm in love because what, what you do is you throw literally anything in here. Let's say like tonight for instance, I'm planning on making a shrimp stir fry. So I'm literally going to throw in here um, stir fry mix, mushrooms, shrimp, sauce, stir it up, put the lid on top, put it in the oven, that's it. And then like five minutes till it's done, I open it, I pour some frozen rice that I buy from Trader Joe's that's like pre-made, throw the rice, stir it up, put it in a little bit more. And it's done. And why this is different than other pots is because it's iron and because of how it's constructed or whatever, everything cooks super evenly and the moisture stays inside really well and it just makes all of your food taste better. I, there's no other way to explain it. You, like you have to just experience it, I'm telling you. Well, I think that's it. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go so I can eat this. But thank you for hanging out. And I will see you guys really, really soon. Bye.